Tennessee Smokies rely on. His name is Jacob Hanneman, former BYU football and baseball player, now joins us uh, from Tennessee. Jacob, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you. How is life in the minor leagues with the Tennessee Smokies? Oh, it's it's wonderful. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> uh, the life of a minor league baseball player, uh, you know, me and my wife, Shaley, we just got thrown into it and we're loving it. What is that? We hear a lot of stories, uh, you know, about the minor leagues, whether it's the, the travel situations on the bus or, you know, cold pizza or random promotions <laughs> in minor leagues. What are some of the fun things you've been able to participate in so far? Well, you know, some of the fun things, we just, me and my wife just got back from a, a eight and a half hour bus, bus ride. We luckily, uh, we had a day off, so I was able to drive with her and, we were able to go to Jacksonville, Florida, so that was fun. <laughs> we we eat a lot of late night Applebee's and stuff like that after games because nothing else is open. <laughs> nice, Jacob. Do you have any crazy travel experiences? Crazy travel experiences? Yeah, I mean, back in Boise when I first got drafted, I flew into Boise and left five minutes later on a 10 hour bus ride. And that was pretty crazy. Kind of just got thrown in. It was my first, first, uh, pro pro game, pro bus ride. And all the guys were drinking and partying on the bus. And I just kind of got thrown into it right away. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. <laughs> like I'm from BYU. What's up guys? <laughs> yeah. I'm from BYU. They always ask if I'm a polygamist and all that stuff. You always get the fun questions, you know? Yeah, and that's the funnest. Jacob <laughs> Hanman is on BYU Sports <laughs> Nation. Uh, tonight, the Tennessee Smokies take on, uh, the Mississippi Braves in Knoxville. What's it like to live in Knoxville, uh, home of, uh, the university of Tennessee there? Oh, it's great. We, we found a, a nice place here. And it's it's really beautiful country over here, uh, really green. We love it. When you look at uh, what you've done recently, uh, it was awesome to see you on Sports Center. You got number two for a fantastic catch in left field about two weeks ago. Walk us through yeah. that play and the reaction that you got getting on Sports Center. Oh yeah, that that was fun. Uh, I think we're in extra innings, and you know, probably saved. Uh, a few runs from coming in, and I once I saw it off the bat, I was like, you know, I'm going to get to that either way. I took a quick peek to see if I was going to dive into a fence, and when I knew I had enough room, I just made the dive. And then we heard it was going to be on Sports Center, um, and so we were staying up late to watch it over here, and they started counting down the plays, and it was getting to like five and four, and I was like, oh, shoot, it's not going to be on. <laughs> and then he got the three, and then number two is like from Tennessee. I was like, oh, no way. It, it was crazy. We we're all freaking out over here. It was pretty fun to watch that. Jacob, do you think that your play should have been the number one play while you were watching that top ten? <laughs> well, of course I think it should have been number one. <laughs> but I was just glad it was on there. Okay, you're a, you're a single short of the cycle the other day. How yeah. How is the single the one you didn't get, man? Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you guys remember, but I was actually a single short there at BYU, too. It's kind of funny. <laughs> hmm. But over here, I did hit two doubles, so I say that makes up for it. And you can't you can't just stay at first in that situation, right? Yeah, you can. Now listen to Jerem. Yeah, no. I, if I was going to if I was going to get hit the the next at bat, I would have tried to stretch it to two out. I, I don't feel like – I mean, it's always fun to say you got the cycle, but I feel like it's a lot better to have two doubles, a triple, and a home run. I had a grand slam, so that was even better. So. Oh, you'll take okay. it every time. Jacob Hanneman is on BYU Sports Nation. He's playing uh, double-A ball for the Tennessee Tennessee Smokies. It was a third-round pick with the Chicago Cubs. Uh, as as a member of the Cubs, do you have much time to even watch the Cubs? Do you catch you know stuff on the bus or whatnot? Yeah, I mean, every once in a while they'll put, put it on the bus or, you know, we see – highlights from sports center and stuff like that like the had a great game they had a great game last night watched uh kyle swerber was just here with us and he left uh, a couple days ago and he just went he had a great game up there last night how do you stay sane uh in the minors yet still try and reach uh and work for your goals of one day making the bigs 
Sorry, can you, can you say that again? It life seems, of the minors. It seems like minor league life is interesting, right? So how do you how do you stay sane and focused yet still try and make it to the bigs one day and keep that goal? Oh, you know, just working hard every day. You know, there's a lot to learn here in the minor leagues, and there's great competition. So, you know, it's taking it one step at a time, one pitch at a time, and you're hitting. And you know, I'm, things I know things will always start clicking for me is just you know trusting in that ability and just keep on working hard and staying with my routine so as you continue to play and, and your stats increase uh your level of play increases does uh your 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 coach or maybe your agent come to you and say hey you know you're you're going to get that call here soon or how does that work how do you get updated with knowing it's almost my time to shine oh like a call up yep no, no, they. I didn't even know I was getting called up till to Double A till um, I was on a nine-hour bus ride in Myrtle Beach. They just you don't you don't ever know. It's just they they the manager calls you over and say, like, "Hey, you're going to Double A." They go, like, oh, "Okay, awesome," and then okay, call my ya. wife, tell her to pack <laughs> it, pack everything up, and go move. <laughs> nice. Do, can you do you live out of suitcases? Since that is a possibility that you move up. Anytime? Oh yeah, yeah. We try to keep keep everything portable. <laughs> so there's there's a lot of moving. We we live out of suitcases. A lot lot like a mission. I mean, at least you got to treat it like that. A lot like a mission. You can leave anytime. Sure. A lot of lot of air mattresses and uh, plastic uh, utensils, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jacob Hanneman's on BYU Sports Nation. Let's talk about your brother, Micah. Got a lot of love in spring, a lot of looks with the ones and twos as a quarterback. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of his success so far with BYU, and what do you think he'll do this fall? No, oh, I'm, I'm very proud of him, and we're definitely looking forward to watching him start and play this fall. Um, he's, he's a hard worker. You know, he was, he was really talented his freshman year there with me. And just saw how he worked hard and, you know, left on the two-year mission, you know, got a little bit more mature, a little bit plotty, filled out a little bit more. And I feel like he's going to be, you know, a great tool for us over there. Have you given him any any tips or tricks on how to deal with the program and uh, more specifically the Coach Mendenhall defense? You know what? He actually has more experience than I do there. <laughs> so I haven't. I have not told him any, gave him any tips for that because he he actually helped me. He was there before I got there off my mission, so he was kind of walking me through all that all that stuff. He know he knows his things though. So now, am I mistaken in this? Were you teammates with Brian Logan at some point pre-mission on the football um, team? Oh nine was, ten oh, no two thousand ten. Were you there two thousand ten? I don't think so. No. No, I was. Uh, I got. I got back from my mission in twelve. Oh, no. Okay, then no. Yeah, I, I left straight from high school on my mission. Gotcha. Well, we look forward to uh, seeing Micah this fall, and we check your stats every day with the Tennessee Smokies, and again tonight against the uh, Mississippi Braves. Huge matchup there in Knoxville tonight. If you're in the area, check it out. Jacob, good luck with everything, and we appreciate the time. Hey, thank you.